Hi guys, Six Park here with another video review. This time we're looking at the Nickelodeon Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles four and a half inch figure Leonardo. Now I've been, I know these been out a while. I've been meaning to pick these up again. If you watch my other videos, it, it, I don't have much. I don't have a job, so I don't have much um, stuff to spend it on. But I've had these actually a while. I've had these. I got these at Christmas, and I've had them a while. I've been able to review them because my camera phone broke and I'm using this one but hopefully in March I should be using a proper camera so a little bit better view for you guys but anyway we'll just move Leonardo off to one side to have a look at the box which is basically what all these figures come in you've got purple Nickelodeon Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles you have the window there where the figure sits you have a picture of all four turtles there uh, leader of and king of the katana swords that's just that piece of sticker there's to do with Arcos uh, Leonardo he has kind of a bio ish actually no he doesn't uh, just, is, um, it, it has basically said on the side leader and the king of the so katana swords and then on the side it has weapons like for instance it has uh, weapons um, I don't know if I'm pronouncing these right Neatin Rayu, double katana swords, Team Ninja Turtles, armies. Oh wait, I'm going to say. It, this is confusing me now. But basically, up there it tells you what weapons he's got. And then on the back, you get a picture of him there with his katana sword, which is actually the sword that you get extra with it. And I'll draw that off in a minute. Then you come with you got Leonardo there. You got Donatello, Raphael, Michelangelo. Then you got Shredder, a Krang. Foot Soldier, Splinter and April O'Neil. Uh, nothing on the bottom, just some warning labels on the bottom. And that's basically the box. All the characters, even the non-turtles characters, actually come in that box. Now, this one is slightly different to everyone else's because I had painted his weapons. Basically, they all come in this, like, bland grey colour on a tree I think about the tree over here I think yes I have basically this colour on the tree they all come on the tree and is that they're all that colour so I decided to paint them um, it went wrong a little bit as in the silver doesn't want to stick to the plastic for some reason and I'll get on to it but it's basically the accessories it comes with this comes with two katana swords it comes with one I think this is a katana sword, I'm not sure, but this is the one I said on the back of the box. You can tell because it's got the gold piece on there. I've actually painted these up from pictures I've seen on um, line. Um, if I remember, in the fir I think the first season, he does have a sword like this with uh, a dagger that pulls out of it. Unfortunately, the dagger doesn't pull out of this, but you do come with the dagger. Uh, I believe he had these before he upgraded to the other ones, because I think these ones got destroyed, but he only comes with one of them. It comes with three daggers. I can't remember if he used these in the show, and I can't remember if it, if they were what colour they were, so I painted them with his colours blue, and then gold and the silver. And as you can see, the silver does not want to stick on here at all, and it's not in focusing properly. There you go. You see, it just it does not want to stick on there, and I'll fix that problem. Uh, I might not have cleaned it properly, but again, they're all this bland grey colour. And it comes with two throwing star I think is it shuriken I can't remember there's a proper name from there's actually a star and then you got these um, again I don't know if you use these in the show and I don't know what colour they were if they were silver and I put a bit of blue in the middle just to give it the Leonardo sort of um, look to him his katanas here I painted them up again. Again, the silver on here as well. But anyway, you've got the katana, you've got the brown, you've got the grey. As accurate as I could get these. That's the only thing that lets them down about these figures is they're not painted properly. And um, it, what it cost me about a fiver of paint to paint these. Um, apart from the silver, forget the silver. The silver just not want to stick. It's probably my fault. But anyway, I keep mentioning that. But this is two katanas there, and then the figure itself is pretty good actually um it's kind of like this it's not all pl like hard plastic it's kind of like this vinyl -y, 
um, colour either in his chest and his shell is his finely sort of feel. It's not bad, it just feels finely and pretty cool. Uh, the moulding detail all the way through this is brilliant. Like for instance, on the bottom of my feet, you can see the the uh, wrinkles and stuff in his um, skin you've got here. Um, bandages or whatever you call it to cover his feet up, his toes have... I don't think he's got no toenails, but they're all wrinkles all the way through it. And I've looked online at the animation model and these, and there's literally no difference in paintwork. There's a couple of dark spots here and there, but that's that's it. There's nothing drastically different from this and the animation model, apart from I did paint up the buckles a little bit more. Uh, but the green is pretty cool, and each turtle, when I get review the other ones are all a different colour and are all different sizes I don't think there's anything used on them that's actually moulded from the others it's pretty cool um, it does have a rubber bit at the back here and I'll get onto that in a minute but it's pretty cool these joints are all pin and swivels so you've got a decent range of motion it bends at the knee here at the hip there's no waist articulation obviously because it's a shell he has the pin and swivel up here as well so you get decent rotation Decent rotation, and he's and has a wrist cut here. Nothing in the fingers at all, but they're, they're pliable. And I get that on the minute when you show the weapons. Um, his head's on this ball joint, but it's just subtle movements from left to right and up and down to get it. It's not very good, but I can understand why because of the shape of the head. And he has this piece here, which be careful because you could pull out. Um, the I wish it came with an alternate head. All these came in the head because in the show when they were normal doing the everyday thing you could see their eyes but when they were in when they were fighting they were white eyes and if it came with an extra head with a normal smirk and eyes that'd be okay but i think i'm just a bit nicky at the moment um the color control on this figure is pretty cool um, there's nothing really wrong with it um at all you've got stamp there and you've got holes on the bottom of the figure so you can put it on a stand now the Actually, I'll just get the size comparisons out of the way here. Now, I don't have many uh, figures of this that don't transform, so you have to bear with me. Here is Lieutenant Commander Data from Star Trek. And here is Darth Vader. These pretty much what figures. As you can see, Darth Vader is a little tiny bit smaller and obviously Data is bigger. Um, but I think... No, no, I'm going to say they scale pretty well, but the turtle's actually quite large. Um, something else someone else might have here is the R.I.D. Bumblebee. As you can see, it's a little bit smaller. And for another size comparison, since it's here, here is an MP transformer as well. So, so you can get round about uh, what size he is. Now back to the figure. Now the weapons. Now this piece at the back here is, well it's a pain. Um, it doesn't scrape the, the silver off despite the problem but it's very difficult. As you can see it's curved here and it's kind of slightly curved there. Now when you put in the swords and you're supposed to put it in the curve but as you can see when you're trying to push it in I tried, I did this before on the other side, it's quite weak. This this piece here, right in there, you're trying to push on there, you could break that, so you have to push as far as you can and go really slowly, you can get that in. Now, that's the pain because if you're trying to push that in, especially a child, it will, it could snap the sword. So, let's just show you. And this side, because it's basically straight, it's more difficult to get that in and trying to not to, um, I shouldn't really do this to be honest, because I'm going to snap it. No, I'm going to do it because I'm going to snap it. It's just really, really tight. And as you can see, right there, doing so has actually damaged, damaged that. Uh, there is a way of doing loosening that up with some warm water, but you risk of uh, deforming this big time. Um, that's the only let down of the figure. But I, I don't really store his swords. I usually have him holding his katana in here once I fix them up. Um, you saw him hold his katanas. He can actually hold his other katana as well. Put it the other way around. You can hold this, or if it's a samurai sword or whatever, you can hold that. It can fit in there, but again, I don't want to risk damaging this. So what I usually do is I have him, you have these straps over the side. I usually put 
without scraping it I usually put that sword over there just just to store that particular sword and you can do it with all the daggers and everything and obviously he can hold his daggers in his hands like so and he can hold his just by prying the thumb away you can actually hold his throwing stars as well and his dagger too basically all these I've, I've had it that's where I store some of the weapons like so and in here and no that is not the reason why the silver walks tail on is <coughs> excuse me it's ju it's the, sil the silver paint won't stick to that uh, I might have to use a different but again you can do all that um, I mean, you can store all his weapons on there, but like I said, uh, I usually store all. I usually have him just with his katanas that he has from the show. So I'll just stick that back in again, like so. Wrong sword. Um, yeah, I wish he came with two of these, just so you can have that record of the the first time you saw him. I believe it's the first time you saw him with the sword. Just to go on the side. Um, Decent, decent articulated figure. Um, the moulding on this is absolutely impressive, and it, it's of, of ironly stuff. It's not your hard plastic. I mean, data as hard plastic because you can tell it's all glossy. This is all matte, and that's how that's well. That's how I can tell the difference between vinyl and um, actual plastic, and the fact the way it feels in your hand. Um, decent figure. Um, should have got these a long time ago, but anyway, it cost me, I think, $12.99 for just Leonardo and $12.99 each all over them. I've only got the turtles, I haven't got Splinter, although I want Splinter and everything else, but he's trying to find them online. I've got them in Argos, I don't know if they're in Argos at this moment. It is the 22nd of February at the moment, so I don't know if they're in the Argos at this moment, because I've got this after before Christmas. But anyway, it's a decent Transformer. And I forgot, here's a combiner wars for you to show your size. Um, if you haven't got these yet, I definitely recommend them. Because, if you're a turtle fan, because it's just brilliant. Just watch out for this piece here. It just... It's alright if you don't sort, store the swords in. You could probably fix that by widening that out but with a piece of metal or, or heating it up. But you risk deforming it. So, yeah. Definitely recommend this. And, yeah, it's just pretty cool. So this is TechSpark with the video review of Leonardo, so don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Thanks for watching guys, see you later.